Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're reviewing, it's the Dr. Prager's All-American Plant-Based Burgers. Now the other day, I reviewed this one right here. So, I reviewed this one the other day, and I'll try to leave a comment below the video so you can see my review on that. But I'm doing this one right now. And later on, you need to subscribe and when you subscribe, hit the bell icon so that way you'll know when I come out with new videos. Why? Because I'm about ready to review this one and a whole bunch of other stuff I have in store. And I just reviewed this product and all their flavors, which you got to check out that. So right now we're going to get right on it. This is Dr. Prager's All-American Plant-Based Burgers. This is 22 grams of pure plant protein, four types of veggies, excellent source of fiber, and it's soy-free, and it's two burgers. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's what it looks like and the ingredients Stay tuned because it's not going to take a long time. This is high Hydrogenated pea protein water pea protein high oletic sunflower oil or avocado oil Onion sweet potato puree Butternut squash puree carrot puree natural flavors methyl cellulose mm, fruit juice for color Oat fiber, potato starch, roasted garlic, and sea salt. So, um, right away when I opened up the package, I could smell. Well, now I can't because I haven't opened up the plastic, but this is what it looks like, okay? It's a little bit browner on this side than this side. You see that? So, when I uh, opened up the package, it smelled like an old-fashioned um, soy burger, but, but this isn't soy now, is it? This is pea protein, but it, rem it reminded me of an old-fashioned like soy burger, and then it kind of reminded me a little bit of Trader Joe's. They have uh, plant-based burgers, which I, I, I'm almost positive also made of pea protein, which is similar to Beyond Meat, but Beyond Meat kind of has like a chemical, highly processed something. And the smell-wise, it didn't taste highly processed, which I like about Dr. Prager's because, this is what it looks like cooked, it doesn't have that highly processed. And I'm about ready to review the California burger too, which I keep saying I'm going to do, but yeah, I'm going to get on that. Yeah, it doesn't taste, I'm sorry, smell. It's highly processed, so I'm about ready to make a sandwich out of it, but let me just first, you know. It is similar. Hmm. It doesn't have much flavor. And obviously it is processed, but it doesn't taste as processed. It kind of reminds me more of the Trader Joe's one with the pea protein. But there's a flavor that Beyond Meat has, that Trader Joe's has. That it's, it's like... Flavor-wise, it's like, here, here's Beyond Meat, and then Trader Joe's, and then here. But the Beyond Meat and Trader Joe's has distinct flavor, which some people consider, like, chemical or artificial. Um, this is more, like, neutral, but does it taste like beef? The texture is really good. It does have that authentic beef flavor, but it's extremely mild. So, we're going to try it on a burger. I have, I forgot what lettuce this is. I got it at an Asian grocery store. This is also, now, so this is turning into a monk bang, but I got a surprise, so stay tuned. Um... So I have vegan may uh, mayonnaise from Hel uh, Hellman's. Then on here, I got red onions. I love alfalfa sprouts. I love sprouts in general. 
radish sprouts is good too, but you can't use a lot of radish sprouts unless you, I sh oh, I should put radish on here, but I don't have any. Then I have avocados, you can see there, and more Hellman's. So, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put some of this on here. Make sure I got the right one because I have all the flavors and you should check out review on this because wow, this company is just wowzers. So, did I bring a butter knife? No, I didn't. But I brought a serrated knife. If you know anything about serrated knives, you need to have a serrated knife when you cut bread, okay? I'm giving you all kinds of pointers. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to put this on like half so I can taste it with cheese and without cheese. We're going to... Because I need more, I should have put more. Clean the knife because I don't want essence of all kinds of food particles in this cheese. Because this has cultures and I don't want the cultures to mix with other foods and maybe create a bad mold, fungus, whatever culture. So, we got that. Lay it nicely right there. We're going to put the lid on here, which fell, which is fine. It's clean. And on these containers, you really need to press it down well. So, this is our monk bang now. And I got my trusty every own water. I just took my hydrocodone. My back is hurting pretty bad. Let me tell you, stay tuned. I got some things to tell you today. It's turning into a monk bing. On a scale of 1 to 10 on the burger. Really good. I might like this better. Actually, I'm going to tell you I like this better. Just FYI. But you still need to see a review on this. But this has its own... If I'm looking for one thing, I would get this. If I'm looking for... But overall, like if someone said... You know, hey, would you like this one or this one out of the wild blue? I'd probably pick this one more often. It depends on what mood I'm in. So anyway. Oh, I got to tell some stuff to tell you about what had happened yesterday. Whew. Oh, on my buns too. Like, what I do is I like pick, taking um, bread or buns or whatever. Look at how good that looks. Should I do a thumbnail? <laughs> which is the better thumbnail maybe this do you know what a thumbnail is that's basically like the album cover of a YouTube video okay so you know what we should cut it so we can see the inside I'm all about the aesthetics see how much I care when I can or when I want to or when I can Sometimes I just don't because of my damn depression. I just don't care. So anyway, I'm cutting this. Can you see this? You can't. Let me clean the knife off again. Anyway, so let me tell you what happened. I've been having foot pain for a long time. And I go to a pain doctor because I have degenerative disc in my neck and in my back. And I've been on hydrocodone and tramadol for like 10 years. So anyway, but having getting this foot pain, it's in both of my feet, but it's pr mostly pronounced on the right. Like, it's really bad on the right, and the left is just, yeah. So, they gave me an x-ray like a while back, right? This is what it looks like. So, they gave me an x-ray like a while back on, and I have no extra napkins. Okay, <clears throat> with no findings, and so uh, I put my foot down. <laughs> put my foot down. I've been having foot pain. Anyway, my pain doctor sent me to a specialist yesterday, and all he did was give me an X-ray and put some steroid shots in my foot.
I'm mostly tasting veggies. Mm. Oh, don't you don't you wish you oh I wish you were here. I'd give you, well I wouldn't give you a bite, I'd just give you that one. So it hurt like hell when he put the steroid in. But there was a nurse there. There was two nurses. One was really, really sweet, and the other one was just, yeah. The sweet one was really sweet, but she didn't know what the hell she was doing. There was a spray that he held the nurse to spray on my foot to numb it before he put in the steroid shot. So she was spraying that, that spray all over my foot except for the area that he wanted, and my foot was getting colder and colder and colder. And the thing is, with my feet and my arthritis and just everything, when and when it's cold, I get like foot cramps. So it already started cramping up. I should have said something, but I just lay there and just let him do it. Mm. Mm mm mm. I love sprouts. Anyway, so he kept telling her he was like, spray the thing, you know, the spray on the part where I'm gonna do the um the shot. The injection. He was like, you gotta hold it up because she was like doing like this. I'm like, you've been to college. I mean, you're not knowing I didn't say anything because I'm not like I'll think bad things about people, but I won't say anything. I'm thinking to myself, what the hell? And my foot's getting colder and colder. So she finally did it. But when she finally did it, it wasn't there for long. And then he, he put it in. When he put it in, it didn't really hurt that bad. But when he was pushing it in, oh, oh, it hurt so bad. And then when I started walking out of there, it was like I'm getting all these tinglings all over my feet. It didn't feel right. And when I came home, it felt worse. Really, it felt worse. This morning... Actually, last night, then late at night, that's when the numbing, I guess, for wear off. And last night, my foot was hurting so bad. When I say foot, it's like in the arch. I can show you my foot here in a minute if you want to see it. And so, um, I feel like crying because it's just experience, just knowing all the pain I've been in. So, um, today it hurts like really bad. It's hard for me to walk on it. And the pain that I'm getting, it's like the same pain that I get normally. And it just really sucks because I can only take so much hydrocodone and so much pain pills. I can't take Advil because the doctors think I have an ulcer because when I take Advil, my stomach hurts like hell. And so, um, anyway, it's really frustrating. And then he said, yeah, we'll come back in, I think he said like six, four to six was it four to six weeks or four to six months? No, three months. Because when I went to the scheduling, she said, you, you have to recall in because we don't schedule three months out. I'm like, three months? And she, and it, but anyway, he said, if it doesn't work after when you come back, then we'll look into getting an MRI or other imaging. I'm like, in the past, I've already had x-rays and there's no findings. There's nothing wrong with my bones. So that doesn't, then that means there's nothing wrong with your foot. No, there's still something wrong with my foot. The thing is, I get recurring prostate infections since 1994, okay? Check all this out. This, this is the kind of shit I'm going through. So anyway, let me take another bite. Can you see it? So then, I'm all about the aesthetics, aren't I? Well, you're important to me. You're watching this. So I'm important to you. So you should be important to me, right? This needs something. 
cumin, like a, because it seems like it's more in, Mexican inspired. I don't know. When I think of avocado, I think of Mexican. I love Mexican food. Indian food's my favorite though. And then Mexican. Right after. And then probably Italian and then Thai. So. Back to what I was saying before I was interrupted by the burger. I've been on Cipro since 1994. On and off, on and off for this infection. When you're on Cipro, it can completely mess up your tendons. And that's if we only own it one time. I've been on this on and off, on and off, on and off. Like, I'm serious. I'm not talking about every two or three years. I'm talking about sometimes five times in one year, two or three times in one year. I might skip two years at the max. Preferably be about one year to nine months. But seriously, I'm on it. And years ago, I had was in Mexico, speaking of Mexican food, and I did a lot of walking, and I was popping my hydrocodone and my pain pills because of my degenerative disc and my neck was hurting. Well, if I had any foot pain, that would mask it. I wouldn't notice it. So I came home, and I thought, well, I need to go, go back to my regular regimen of hydrocodone and, and my pain pills, Tramadol, and stuff like that, and Advil because I was still on it then. And my foot hurt so bad then. And I think doing all that strenuous walking in Mexico, torn, a ligament, or whatever you want to call it. I'm bad with medical things sometimes. Lay, um, the labrum, the ligament, the muscle, whatever, which, again, Cipro can do. So it really just frustrates me that they're doing all these x-rays, x-rays, x-rays. He wants me to come back three months later. And then give me an MRI or other imaging. T tendon tears, that's it. So I called my uh, pain doctor today and left a message and put my foot down and said, y'all need to send me out to get an MRI or CAT scan or whatever it is. I think it's MRI imaging to see what's going on with my pain. Because I'm tired of this pain. I'm getting overweight. But I don't walk much, and I can't run, not with this pain in my foot. So that's what I'm going through. And then to make things worse, if you haven't heard it all, That was an appointment that my pain doctor sent me over. He also put an order in to see if my degenerative disc in my neck and my back has stayed the same or gotten worse or gotten better, which it's probably not going to have. Possible, anything is possible, but you know. So he gives me the paper and tells me to go to this specific place. I'm not going to mention the hospital. I could, though. They just bought him out, by the way, because of COVID. So many hospitals and stuff are going out of business. So I called the lady up last week and I said, yes, ma'am. I was like, I have this order here for my pain doctor to get some x-rays done because my pain doctor doesn't have an x-ray machine. So they sent me out. Common thing. I call her up and she was like, um, just, just, just come on in. I was like, well, ma'am, don't I have to make an appointment? No, we just, we don't do appointments. I'm like, you don't do appointments. She's like, it's just the x-ray. You just, just walk in, but just make sure you bring that paper. And I told her, I was like, ma'am, don't you need the paper? There's numbers on here. The doctor, you know, that sent it over. Nope. And I pushed the issue. I, I put my foot down. I said, ma'am, this seems kind of strange to me. You know, because I'm not going to waste my time. So, um, she's like, no, just walk in. We don't accept appointments. Not only did I walk out of that place in pain for my foot... Then I drove all the way to another hospital because I figured killed two birds with one stone. Why make two runs out of the house? I go in there and I tell the lady, 
And uh, she was like, w we, we can't see you. I'm like, why not? She goes, uh, because she looked on the paper. She goes, this is your name, right? I said, yeah, that's my name. Uh, she's like, you're not in the system. I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, you're not in the system. She goes, you need, you need to make an appointment. We don't, we, you can't just walk into here. I told her, I said, ma'am, I was like, I specifically called. And I remember saying I need to make an appointment. That was another thing too. When I called, I said, I have an x-ray order here. I need to make an appointment. And that's when she told me, you don't need to make an appointment. It's walk-ins. We don't accept appointments. And the lady at the x-ray place, you know, she was nice. And she was like, um, well, I'm sorry they lied to you. We don't accept walk-ins. You need to make an appointment. Um, do you have your medical insurance? And this makes sense to me. This makes sense to me that they need to put me in the system first. She's like, and also we can't do the x-ray today either. We have to do it another day. She's like, but this might take 30 minutes. I'm like, for what? She goes, for me to put the order in. I'm like, 30 minutes? So she asked me for my information, my medical card, insurance, you know, the document that I gave her, which was the order. And I'm sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. Well, then my back starts hurting because I have degenerative disc in my back. And I have no food. And so, because um, I have my, my pain medicine with me. So, um, there's a candy bar that I kind of stole on the way in. Well, I didn't steal it. They were, it was just like a free candy bar for insurance. I'm like, there's little mini ones. It was a Snickers bar. So, I ate that. Took my pain medicine. Um, didn't have any water with me at all. So, I just kind of used my saliva. Takes a while for my pain medicine to kick in. I just wasn't feeling good. And on top of all of that, my foot was hurting really, really bad. Yes, I probably should have took the hydrocodone right away. But I kind of wanted to see, like, what the hell they did in my foot. You know, because pain medicine, a lot of times, mass pain. Because I don't know if they screwed my foot up. Maybe they gave me, like, frostbite or something. Um, I just got tired of waiting. And I kindly went up there. I said, ma'am, I'm not trying to rush you or anything. I said, but is there any way possible? Like, because what do you need me there for? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got my information. Like, if you have to, like, schedule the appointment, do I need to be there? Because can't you just data entry, my insurance and stuff, then let me go? And she was like, yeah. She goes, I'll finish up. She was like, I really don't need you to be here. And I'm like, then why would you tell me to wait 30 minutes? It wasn't rude, though. And so um, she gave me back my information. And I left. And then that's when I was really, really, really hungry. And my stomach was kind of like, ugh. You, get, you just gave me a pain pill with a sneaker bar. Ugh. So I went to go get the Impossible Whopper at Burger King, which I did a review on that. And so, oh, that's been going on with my life. They were really nice at Burger King yesterday, too. Like, really nice. Well, the girl was kind of sassy. She had, you have to go to the first window, kind of like, but not rude, but then the, the, um, the guy that came to my window, he was just like, I just want to make sure we have a burger, burger right, and I'm like, it was really, really nice, and got it button to the cheese, mmm, You would think that it goes with the burger. It kind of does. I guess I'm just not used to having. I'm not used to having cheese on burgers. I'm vegan or not, whichever. I'm just not used to it. Even back in the day when I had regular burgers. I, I just never liked cheese on burger. Well, sometimes a long, long time, long time ago. I would like Swiss cheese, but it had to have mushrooms.
I can't stand disrespectful, rude people. I don't care what service industry you work. I worked fast food when I was younger. I worked at Burger King. I worked at Taco Bell. I did telemarketing. I worked for the phone company. You could cuss me out all day long. And I would still keep my cool and say I apologize. I can see I can see that you are right and I can see that you're upset. And that de deeply saddens me. And I'm going to try my best to do what I can to help you. So. The reason why I say that is because, in my opinion, customer service nowadays is total shit. Not always. And, yes, sometimes I complain. But when I have outstanding customer service, or when I have customer service that it's supposed to be that way anyway, I make a good compliment. I will say, I need to talk to your manager, what for? And then they are in trouble. And I'll, like, I'll tell the manager, but like, this associate or whatever is doing an outstanding job. And I have went out of my way to let you know that. My time is valuable. But you know what? They did such a good job that I put my time away to let you know that this person deserves some recognition. I can't even say it right. You gotta give credit where credit is due. But nowadays, nobody wants to work. I'm not gonna get into that whole virus thing. But it just seems like people just don't care no more. I was at H&M the other day. Because I bought a pair of shorts. Never been to H&M in my whole life. I thought it was for rich people. Like expensive. And my roommate took me in there. And I'm like. This place is expensive. He's like wait till you see. I looked at the prices. I'm like these prices are cheap. And so. Um, I got me a pair of shorts. I should have got more. He told me he's like why don't you get more shorts. They're so cheap. They were like $7 or $8. Something like that. Were they 13? I think they were 13 or something like that. And I only got one, just one. Is it a pair? I guess because you have two legs, so it's one pair of shorts. I always wondered why they said that. But what if you have one person that only has one leg? Do they, do they, do they, I don't know. So, anyway, speaking of nice customer service. First, I called him on the phone, and it was connected to a telemarketing place somewhere. I don't know. And I'm like, is this the store or whatever? I thought it was the store, and she didn't answer my question. I tried to give her the tag number and stuff, and I was like, do you have any more shorts in your store? And then I finally found out I was talking to online, uh, like the website, because you can order, I guess. And so I'm just like. I had to beg her to connect me to the store. And I did call the store's local number. But it's all about the money. If they can send those calls to the local store to a calling center in a foreign country and pay those people $2 an hour, then they can cut back on the workers in the store so then they don't have to answer the phones and they don't have to do as much so they can not hire as much. Because that's the world that we're living in and it's going to get worse. Just like uh, self checkout, it's gonna get it's it's just what if you don't believe me, come back to this video in, in in the next I would say ten years. Come back to this video in the next three to four years, and tell me I was wrong. So anyway, I couldn't get nothing done, so I drove all the way, almost three towns over. Well, technically three, but big towns two towns over if you don't count that small town and so like i went um in there and uh they were so overly nice and friendly i mean i haven't had customer service like that in so long um I, I, I tell lady the situation. She goes, well, well, let's just go back and look at some shorts. I was like, oh, I did. She goes, well, you know, let me see what I can find for you. I'm like, wow. You know, I thought I was like in a high-end clothing department store. Because a lot of times when you, like Ross, you know, clothing department stores that are like not expensive, they don't really, really help you. 
They were so nice. And then I was talking to a lady. She's like, you know what? Let me check to see if it's on stock on the internet with my phone. I said, oh, I can do that. And, and, she, and, and uh, because I know how to use the internet. And she goes, well, you're here now. And I'm really proficient with our internet. If you have the time. I was like, yeah, of course I have the time. She's sitting there. She was fast with a first. Shot. I was like, dang, girl, you are fast with your phone. And she goes, oh, we um, were all sold out. And I'm like, dang, because it really almost broke my heart. Because I need clothes bad. And I'm really picky when it comes to clothes. It just has to feel right. And there's just something that it just has to, like, feel like that it's a, that it's me. You know what I'm saying? And there's most of the clothes, I, when I put it on, it's just like, this isn't me. And I'm not even just talking about style. I'm just talking about the way they feel, you know? Especially when I sit down with shorts, sometimes they write up your, you know what? And these shorts were just so comfortable. And I only bought, like I said, one pair. And my roommate had told me, why don't you buy more? And I did it because I'm cheap. Even though I need clothes. But I'm cheap for a reason because I'm on a fixed income. So I kind of have to be. I don't have to be, but I am. So anyway, she was looking it up and stuff. Like, I'm getting emotional because she was so nice. And nowadays, you just have such shitty customer service. And I'm kind of almost used to it. I don't like it. But she was so friendly. And then she finally found a green color, which I wasn't too crazy about. But I'm like, and then she was like, they're on sale for like, I think $7 or $6.80. I'm like, that's cheap. You can't even go to the, uh, what is it, uh, Goodwill or thrift store or whatever and get shorts that cheap. You might, but then they're used. These are brand new. And uh, she's like, we only have like, I think she said small or extra small. Even if it was small, I'm like, ma'am, uh, I got a big waist down there. I was like, that ain't going to work. Her manager came over and I, told, I said, ma'am, I was like, your associate is absolutely amazing. I was like, she walked over with me with Charlie for the clothes and stuff. And I specifically said, I said, this is not an expensive store. And I would expect this kind of service in a high price store and probably won't even get it nowadays. I said, but I got it from your store and you don't even have expensive stuff. I was like, this associate because they don't make commission you know those expensive stores like i would go into the buckle which is a clothing store they make commission the more they sell you the more money they make a store like h&m they're not there to try to persuade you to buy something so she if she help, goes out of her way to help me she's not going to get anything extra out of it okay nothing but she did she helped me and i told the manager i was like i just i'm just blown away by your associate and then she's like, well, yeah, that's why we have her because we know she's good. And I was like, well, no, again, that she's outstanding. And I said, I appreciate you coming over here to make sure everything's okay, too, because you don't have to do that. She goes, I'm just checking to make sure that, you know, everything's okay. I was like, it's more than okay. I was like, I'm bummed out that <laughs> I can't get these shorts. And, um, but wow, that was just amazing. I'm going to keep talking because that's ranting and raving. Until next time, please comment, like, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted. Not all my videos are like this. Some of them are just straight to the review. Whatever. But that's why I tried to do the review at the beginning. <clears throat> if you get this burger, I recommend putting a lot of stuff on it because it doesn't have much flavor. But it's a good burger. And the texture is really good. And it doesn't taste as chemical, highly processed, weird. There's no aftertaste. It's like, mm, it tastes like there's a flavor that I can't put my finger on it, it tastes like chemical or something no this burger doesn't have it and so until next time hit that bell icon so you'll know when i come out with new videos have an awesome day